Hey, it's Massacre 2792 back with part two. And this is, um, and this is just El Barbier again, but round two. So I'm doing it in parts just so that way it doesn't take too long and all that. So yeah, enjoy. And you'll notice that that is exactly the point where I stopped it at on the last one. So, yes. If you haven't watched my previous one, I'd recommend you do so that way I don't have to go through this all again. Although, if you want me to go through it all again, I'll just do it in a comment or whatever. Yeah, this is the amazing Iridian weapon that I have, and it is amazing. See? That's how easy it is to kill people with it. Then if you get them all hoarded up, I guess. Just like this, right? Get get them in line. Or just wait for it. I'm dead. And that is how amazing this gun is. Let's get out my Jacobs. This is probably my best sniper rifle. And this is very good um, uh, pistol, but not as good in terms of damage as my, oh god, 6,765, that's what you get with those knives, because it does plus 200% damage on this gun, with melee, as it has that, as you can probably quite easily see, the stuff underneath it. So if you just want me to shut up and just play it, I guess then I will happily do that. And this is, oh god, I forgot to mention that if you've never played it before then you, then the enemies get perks or you both get perks. Oh crap, Lance Warden. The easiest way is to shoot him in the head. It didn't take too long. But because they're Lance Warden's they are incredibly good rather annoying. But corrosive weapon does always does the trick. As you can see because they have armor and that is what makes it so effective. Because even for a shield, it still completely pones them. See, 900 damage. That is how good this gun is. And sure, it may only have two ammo, but it's such a quick reload, you, you don't really notice. It's almost like having an infinite thing. Not quite, I know, but it's practically like having it. Just leave him to die. Just want to check that the previous one would have died. Yep. Oh crap! The other guy didn't die. The other brute didn't die. That is annoying. Seriously, he didn't die. But sometimes it does. Get, you do get a bit like that. But it's nothing annoying. Really. Sure, it gets annoying the odd time. But if you have the, the class mod that I have, which um, it doesn't regenerate ammo or anything like that. It just makes you reload quicker and your blood ring um, goes gets back faster if you kill someone and I mean like practically instantly you get your blood ring back so it's incredibly good if you use your blood ring a lot and it's incredibly good but I just don't really have the fingers at the moment to, to use the blood ring <laughs> I would if I could but I don't and right now Jammy1043 is apparently in the coolest glitch ever I've just quoted his words and he's going to video it, so I'm not going to say any more from it. So just go on to January 143 if you're curious. Yes, this may look a little bit laggy, but it's not really. And he's filming with an iPhone, if you're wondering.
Okay, horde mode. Horde, the horde is probably best to use this gun on. Get them close. Boom, boom. They're dead. That is how amazing it is. And that's how much I love it. It's just such a good gun. So if you want it, I could duplicate it for you, and I will, but I'm afraid you're going to have to sub and comment, which isn't too much, but really. Uh, or rate, and rate, please. Thumbs up, preferred, but it doesn't really matter because it's your own personal opinion, and I couldn't really, and I, and it, and I would rather that if it was um, true to what you would actually think, rather than just me telling you, make it go up. Yes, I may sound all technical and all, but not that really. Sorry, if you if you're getting annoyed by the camera moving, that's just because um, I'm having to film it and play at the same time, and it's incredibly annoying. Um, my friend just came up with the best idea that if I sit with my camera being between my legs. I'm going to try that, so... I'm going to actually try that, so if you give me a second... And... Et voila! It's in! And god is that good! Okay, so, if you, if you like this method of me holding it, so that way I can properly use my blood ring, and now I'll be able to play much better! And yes, please um, thank Jamie104, Jamie1043, for coming up with that method. And you'll find that his videos are much steadier than mine, just because that's a fact. Fail there. Woo! Yeah. Sucking that bitch. Now I'm just going to go around knifing everybody just because it's so good. Yeah, and the trick to killing them is get up close, knife them, they'll get stunned for a bit and then they'll try and attack you but you can get back enough in time to kill them. So it's almost like a strategy guide in a way. This, yep, sorry about that, I'm just tilting the camera so that way you can see it much better. And yes I am slouched, and yes it is uncomfortable but it's worth it because it's just so fun. What? Yeah, 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 Jamie. I'm talking to him over Xbox Live, but yeah. Woo! So after this, I will then stop it and just make a, a part three. I've never faced Baron Finn, so I don't know what he's like. Four thousand three hundred seventy-five. That is the sort of damage that you can hope to do with this sniper rifle. And no, it is not hacked. And next time, I will not be using a shield. Actually, I will because I sort of I think I sold the other one because I was almost certain that I, I wouldn't find a new way to start filming this. So that's why. If you're wondering why I've still got my shield, on. and yeah, see you in part three. Oh, okay. Bye.